here with a new video and today it is time for not the second part but like the second month in my palette of the month series and this now is February and I have a palette that starts with an F that I have used one time I think and I want to do something with it and it is Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Flaming Love. The palette looks like this if you didn't know so I don't know what I am going to do with it because it's only these three that are mattes, the rest of them are shimmers and I have no idea but I have only used this palette once and then I did a video in Swedish because it was when my channel was in Swedish so yeah we will do something with this and today in this video I just think I will do like whatever I want and then I'm tr thinking about doing maybe palette bingo but I don't know if that is a bad idea with a eight pan palette I don't know if you have any suggestions what I should do more with this so it's just tell me what you think I would do and I will try to do it but yeah today I'm just doing my makeup with this and I don't know what to do maybe I should swatch this or maybe I should just go with flow okay I will prime my eyes and then we get started and if I seem a little bit like, maybe not all over the place, but a little bit distant, um, I'm thinking about doing a uh, get ready with me about what, if you have seen on my community tab, I went through some personal stuff and I'm thinking about doing a get ready with me about that. It's nothing like I'm going to be okay. I am okay, but I lost one of my cats and it was really hard for me. And now I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to start crying. So that's why I have to wait for that to get ready with me because I don't want to cry on camera. Uh, that is what has happened and if you don't have animals, I don't know if you can understand how it feels. If you do have animals, I think you know how it feels if it's ever happened to you but yeah that is what has happened in my life not going to talk about it now I don't want to cry so yeah if I seem a little bit off that's why but okay I am going to do this and I think I will start with this one and it's one thing I like about about this palette you can pop the shadows out like this and it is the name is on the back side so yeah this is a flaming kiss <laughs> and I will have this I will try to take it like on my outer half and like up in my crease and I think I'll take this brush from Kaleidos this is S3 I really hope that this works and I have actually cleaned my brushes. It feels like I have to stretch myself a little bit. Okay, I don't know how pigmented this is. Pretty pigmented, but also... Blendable? Maybe this brush isn't the best to blend with. But I will try because I don't want to have like my normal super big blending brush. Maybe I could have taken my normal super big blending brush. But yeah, okay. Good for this. And I wasn't sure at first if I was going to take this palette because I don't think this is available anymore. I went to their website and they only had two palettes available. I don't know, I bought this such a long time ago and as I said I have only, I think I've used it once 
and maybe I've used one of the shades with some other shades, I can't remember. But I only used only this palette once and <laughs> I thought it's time for me to use it. Maybe not my best work ever, but it is okay. I have it like this. I like this color. I think it's nice. Now I'm going to try to do the exact same thing on the other eye and I am a little bit nervous about this. It always feels like I can't get it like symmetric on both eyes and I don't know what's my pro what's my problem what's my what my problem is okay so I think something like this works for my eyelids or the start I'm not finished trust me okay and for my inner part I want to take this one and it is called Eden and when I feel it, it feels really, really creamy. So I will try with only brush and see how it looks. And I'm taking Linda Hallberg 303 and then put it on and it feels like this is working. Pretty good. I really don't know why I don't use this palette more. Maybe it is because it's only eight shades and five of them are shimmers and I really like to use like one palette for one makeup look and maybe this is a little bit like hard for me to come up with looks but that's also why I wanted to do this series this year so I really use the palettes I have and try to do things with palettes I don't normally use. Okay, I'm taking the dark shade and take a little bit more out here. And one thing I really like with this shimmer shade is it has a little bit of gold to it. I like it. I don't know if this was me. <laughs> like a super boring look. It feels like this is not something that I usually do. But I think I actually like it. Just have to try to blend these a little bit to get <laughs> a little bit together, a little bit better together. But yeah, I think it actually is pretty happy like this. I know it's maybe kind of boring, but I think it's nice. And I don't think it's like that over the top. If you look at this palette, you may think like, I can never do like something normal with this. But I think this is pretty normal actually. So yeah, okay, I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back in with the under eyes. And I'm thinking about staying in the same theme. Yes, I do. So I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back. Time for under eyes. And I think I will just keep it super simple and take this one and just smudge it all over my under eye. And these shadows have like no kick up at all. But the pigmentation is really good. This was kind of a big difference. 
difference between the eyes right now. Whoa. Okay, and I don't think I will take anything in my inner corner. I just think I will go in with the shimmer shade I have and just... That is not a good brush. More better. And just like connect them. And I don't spray it. Or do I? No. Just to have the connection here. Did you see anything of that? So just like that. So okay, I will put something in my waterline, put on a mascara and a lipstick to this and then I come back. So, this is the finished look and my hair, I had it up with this clip, so it's... It, things has happened because I have newly washed hair and then things happen. So, this is the finished look for my waterline. I used a faux blacks from NYX in Oxblood. I really love this one. And for my lips, I used a lipstick from Colourpop in Gold Digger. It's an extra matte, matte X. Love this shade. So yeah, this is my first video with this palette of the mouth. It's maybe, maybe I should name them something else. I don't know, I <laughs> have to see. So this was the first video with Flaming Love from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I have actually only used two shades. I have only used these and I really like this look. I really do. So I don't know, as I said, if I'm going to do palette bingo with this or not. Please let me know what you want to see with this palette because the formula is really really good and they are really really easy to work with these shades so I like need to use this more because it is a really good palette and yeah that was all for this video I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye